Hi everyone and welcome to Coding to Christmas. So this year Jake and I have decided to set some coding challenges every day from now until Christmas Day on the 25th. So every day we'll be giving you a new coding challenge starting with the first one. So this time we're also going to be using Trinket.io to let you code along. So to get to there, so the first thing you need to do is search for Trinket.io slash Python. And this will be your new text editor. If you do have any code here, just delete of everything. Um, if you also go to the about sections, we'll have the links directly to the trinket and to our YouTube videos where if you've never coded before, there'll be all the information ready for you to go. Okay, so if you click the link to our trinket, you'll see here we have our first challenge. So the challenge is print out Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year with Happy New Year being on a new line. So the first thing we have to do is use the function print in lowercase. You use your brackets and then your double quotes to enter your message. So I'm just going to write it out firstly. So we have Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If I run that, you can see I've made an error and it's giving me a, a red line here and there's an error message further down. So to fix that, I just put in my double quote so if you have a start in double quote, you need an end double quote. So we can run that and we now have our message on the right hand side. If I accidentally miss a bracket and run that, I'm going to get a similar error. So again, for every starting bracket, there needs to be an end bracket. So now that we've got our message written out on a total line, how do we get it onto a new line? So to do that, we use our escaping character slash n. So you can see here, I use slash n, and you can see it's a slight pink color, which shows that it's the right way. If I'd put it the wrong way and run it, it's just going to input the n there. So if I do the slash n the correct way, and you can see it's a nice pink there, we can run it and you can see now we have Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year on a new line. So that is today's lesson. That is today's quick challenge and the answers with me. Um, remember, we are. this will be on Twitch and YouTube. So wherever you're watching it, they'll be released live at five o'clock and then YouTube after. We'll be releasing the challenges every morning at 9am. Um, so you can see the new challenges every morning at 9am and we'll be doing the answers every evening at 5pm on every working day from now until Christmas. Each one will get a little bit harder. So by the end of Christmas, by the end of coding to Christmas, you'll be able to code in Python. So thanks for joining me for today's first coding to Christmas challenge and I'll see you tomorrow for the next one.